we came to CERN this week in order to create some sort of modern day interpretation of the very first uh, web browser. Well, the project is to restore the first browser which was uh, developed by the inventor of the web. And the idea is to recreate an experience for the people who could not uh, use the web in its early days to have an idea how it felt to use the web at that time. I think the biggest difficulty was to make uh, the browser work in the, in the next machine that we had. We really needed to work with, a, with an original uh, next box in order to really understand what that experience was like um, in order to be able, be able to write some code um, to replicate that experience. So my role is uh, code, so generating the code to create the interactive aspect of the, uh, um, the World Wide Web browser, recreated browser. So it's very much writing JavaScript to kind of create all the, the next operating system kind of UI, um, making requests to servers to go and get the HTML and, and massage the HTML back into a format that looks good in this, uh, the World Wide Web browser, um, and making sure that we actually end up with a, a URL that goes into production that people can come and visit and, and see their own web pages. And the, the tangible software uh, is what I'm responsible for, so I have to make sure it all gets done. Uh, otherwise, we have no, no browser to look at, basically. We got together a few years back to do a similar sort of hack project here at CERN, which was creating the world's second ever web browser, which was the line mode browser. Uh, and we had a lot of fun with it, and it's a great bunch of people from all over the world. So it's been really great to get back together, and it's always amazing to be here at CERN, to be at not just the birthplace of the web, but you know, the most important place on the planet for science. Uh, and yeah, it's just been a lot of fun, and I kind of don't want it to be over because uh, we're, we're in our element, hacking away, having fun, and just soaking up the atmosphere. And we're getting to chat with people who were there 30 years ago, you know, Jean-Francois Croff and Robert Caillou, these people who were involved in the creation of the World Wide Web. But, uh, to me, that's amazing to be, you know, surrounded by so much uh, World Wide Web history. So the plan is that uh, this will go online and anyone will be able to access it because it's on the web and that's the beautiful thing about the web is that anyone can, can visit a website. And so everyone will have the opportunity to try using the world's first web browser and maybe see what uh, modern web pages would look like if they were passed through this uh, first web browser. <laughs>